In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use colors in Logic Pro for iPad to really help organize your projects. Let's go. If you're brand new to Logic Pro for iPad, check out my beginner's guide. It's linked in the description and at the end of this video. There are two ways we can use color here in Logic Pro. We can either color the individual regions or we can color the track icons. The most common way to use this and the way that I use it is to color all of the regions in individual tracks. For instance, I have these guitar tracks. They're all colored pink. If I want to change the color of this lead vocal track, all I need to do is tap on the track there and then down in the bottom here, hit this information pane and you'll see that we've got four region selectors. So all four regions on this track, we just tap on the color and choose a new one. I might choose this cyan color here and you can see that we've got different shades as well. So let's go with a nice bright color. Tap on that one, and then when we tap off, there you go, our color has been set for that track's regions. To change the track's icon color, we need to tap in the top left here and go from region back to track. And you can see here, we have another color setting. So if we tap on that one, if we want the same color, we just tap there and tap again. And now you'll notice that as well as the regions, we've also got the track icon changed. Let's show that one more time from scratch. So if we select a track, we tap in the bottom left here on the eye icon, we come up here and tap on the region to go back to track and we tap on color and we can also have a different color for our icon compared to the color of the region so you can mix and match to your heart's content. I know what you're thinking, Pete, what if I want all of my vocal tracks to be the same color? Well, there's a simple way to do that. We can use the multi-select tool and change a whole bunch at once. To do this, we need to use the multi-select tool, which is this one here in your toolbar. You can then tap on as many tracks as you like and make the changes all at once. So with those selected, we're going to tap on the eye icon down here. And you can see here that we've got all of those selected. They're different colors. So we've got an asterisk there. If we want all of these to be the same color, though, we come across here, tap on that one, select our brightness level. And there you go. Those are all changed. Track icons, however, don't seem to work the same way. We can't multi-select and change a bunch of icons at once. You will need to do those one by one. But to be honest, I tend to leave the track icons the same and just change the color of each of your regions. And finally, yes, you can even change an individual region within a track to a different color. Say I want to really highlight this bridge. I'm having trouble playing this bridge part. I can actually come in here and change the color of just that one. And now that will really stand out when I get to that part of the track, I'll see, yep, there's my green bridge. If you'd like to learn more about creating, recording and releasing your best music using Logic Pro for iPad, check out my complete list of tutorials in the description and I'll see you next time.